To write the name for CCL4, we first need to figure out what type of compound we have. So if we look at the periodic table, we can find carbon right here. Carbon is a nonmetal and chlorine right here. That's also a nonmetal. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, this is a molecular or covalent compound. So we're going to use these rules here to write prefixes to show the number of each atom. So we'll start by writing the name for both elements. We have carbon and chlorine. Next, on the second element, we're going to change the ending to IDE. So at this point, we have carbon chloride. But we need to show that we have four of these chlorine atoms here. So to do that, we're going to use these prefixes. For carbon, we only have one carbon, but we never write anything when we have just one of an element. So just one carbon, we're going to leave that alone. For the chloride, we have four of these chlorine atoms, so we're going to put tetra in front of the chloride. And that makes the name for CCL4 carbon tetrachloride. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know there'd be one carbon and four chlorine atoms, CCL4. This is a pretty common chemical. It was used quite extensively for a long time. It's a little bit out of favor now because it's not real good for you. But it often went by the name just carbon tet instead of the whole carbon tetrachloride. But the official name, carbon tetrachloride. This is Dr. B with the name for CCL4, carbon tet or carbon tetrachloride. Thanks for watching.